The hypotenuse of a right triangle measures 10 inches. The smaller leg is 2 inches less than the larger leg. Find the length of both legs. Let's try, try to identify our variables here by drawing a picture. So we know we're working with a right triangle. Okay, that means one of, the, one of the angles is 90 degrees. The hypotenuse, the longer side, measures 10 inches, it says. Now, if we let x equal the length of the longer side, then the smaller side, it says, is 2 inches less. The smaller leg is 2 inches less than the longer leg. So we'll identify that as x minus 2. Okay, for a right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In other words, leg squared plus leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. It only works for right triangles, and that's what we have here. So leg squared plus the smaller leg squared, x minus 2 squared, equals the hypotenuse squared, 10 squared. Okay, so this is our setup. Now let's try to solve this using algebra. Okay, certainly we're going to have to multiply that out. And when we do, um, we have x minus 2 times x minus 2 will be left with x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 10 squared is 100. Now remember how to do that. The shortcut is to square the first term. That's how I got x squared. Multiply them together and then multiply that times 2. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x times 2 is negative 4x. And then square the end term. Negative 2 squared is plus 4. Okay, once we multiply that out, let's collect same side like terms. All right, so 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 uh, equals 100. Now this is a quadratic. To solve quadratics, all the techniques that we have so far require this to be equal to 0. So let's go ahead and subtract 100. Um, that'll leave us with 2x squared minus 4x minus 96 equals 0. Okay, so notice here there is a GCF. Usually it's easier to factor if you factor out that GCF first. So factoring out a 2, that'll leave me with x squared minus 2x minus 48. Okay, so now let's try to factor that quadratic. Looks like it should factor. So 2 times a couple blank parentheses equals 0. We'll break up x squared as x times x. Okay, so how does 48 factor to give me a 2. After a little bit of thought, it looks like 6 times 8 should do it. So let's choose 6 times 8. Alright, so now my middle term has gotten from the product of the inners and the outers. So we have a 6x and an 8x. 6x and 8x gives me a negative 2x if the 8 is negative. Okay, and the 6 is positive. So that'll make my middle term work out. Let's check that it's that the end term works. Positive 6 times negative 8 is negative 48. Looks good. Okay, and then the next step is to set each variable factor. Let's not worry about the 2. The variable factor is equal to 0. So x plus 6 equals 0 or x minus 8 equals 0. Okay, so this tells me x could equal negative 6 or x could equal 8. Now it doesn't make sense for the length of a side of a rectangle, of a triangle here is negative. So let's go ahead and throw that away and use x equals 8. Okay, so if one of the legs is 8 inches, okay, then the other leg, the smaller leg, remember, was 2, in, two inches less than that. So 8 minus 2 is uh, 6 inches. So the length of both of the legs are 8 and 6 inches.